Today's program is Animals Over Winter at the National Elk Refuge. Winter in the Greater Yellowstone ecosystem is very severe. Animals that live here face many conditions that challenge their survival. In this program, we are going to take an up-close look at a number of species that call the National Elk Refuge home. We will explore the different strategies that these animals use in order to survive winter. In order to survive these harsh winter conditions, animals have developed adaptations over time. Adaptation is the physical or behavioral characteristic of an animal that helps it survive better in its habitat. A habitat is the place where a plant or animal normally lives. Elements of a habitat are food, water, shelter, and space. All the elements must be present in adequate and balanced amounts to support the animal that naturally live there, seasonally or year-round. We are going to look at three different strategies or adaptations for animal survival. Migration, hibernation, and resistance. Let's start with migration. Migration is an avoidance strategy. Migration means to move from one region, country, or climate to another. Migrators may travel long or short distances by flying, traveling over land, or swimming. In winter, migrators are usually moving from a colder to a warmer climate or from a higher elevation to a lower elevation where conditions are less harsh. The National Elk Refuge is the seasonal and permanent home to a number of different species. During the winter months, we see large land migrations of elk, bighorn sheep, and bison using this area. We also see aerial migrations of trumpeter swans and rough-legged hawks. Elk spend their summers at high elevations in the surrounding areas in the national parks and national forests. As fall arrives, so does harsh mountain conditions. Snow will begin to collect in the upper reaches of the mountains and descend downwards, pushing elk on their seasonal migration towards areas like the National Elk Refuge. These low-lying areas provide elk with easier access to food and shelter during the winter months. Migration is one of many adaptations that elk have in order to survive winter. Now that we've looked at our first survival strategy, migration, let's move on to our next survival strategy, hibernation. Hibernation is an avoidance strategy. Animals that enter a state of hibernation are avoiding winter and its harsh conditions. Let's look at two categories of hibernation, true hibernators and torpor. True hibernators include yellow-bellied marmots and uinta ground squirrels. During the winter months, they have reduced metabolism, a slower heart rate, and a lower body temperature. These animals are in a deep, sleep-like state and are unable to wake up and respond to any danger near their den. Another type of hibernation is called torpor. Animals such as bears and badgers enter this state. It's much like hibernation, but it's less extreme. Animals who are in a state of torpor can wake up for several days or weeks before returning back to that torpor state. Any animal who is going into any state of hibernation needs to prepare for winter. They do this by eating lots of food during the spring, summer, and fall months. They are gaining additional weight and fat reserves to use throughout the winter. Hibernation is an adaptation or survival strategy used by several animals on the National Elk Refuge. Now that we've looked at migration and hibernation, let's take a look at our last survival strategy, resistance. Resistance is a confrontation strategy. It means that animals are staying put and adapting to conditions. They are enduring the challenges of winter and resisting its stresses. 
These animals are not hibernating or migrating. They are generally staying in the same area and only changing their behavior or appearance. Wolves are a great example of an animal that lives year round on the National Elk Refuge and resist winter. Wolves have a physical adaptation to survive winter. They grow a thick winter coat. Wolves have two types of fur, under fur and guard hairs. Under fur is a thick layer of soft hairs that keep the wolf warm or insulated. Guard hairs are long, stiff hairs that grow over the under fur to keep the wolf dry. It is very similar to the types of layers that we put on before we go out and play in the snow. Typically, we want to put on a warm fleece-like layer that will keep us warm. But we need to put on a winter jacket or a rain jacket on top of that fleece in order to keep us dry. This physical adaptation is one of many that wolves have in order to resist winter. In this program, we looked at three different survival strategies or adaptations that wildlife have in order to survive winter. We looked at migration, hibernation, and resistance. We all must remember that despite having these adaptations for survival, wildlife still have a very tough time during the winter months. We can do our part by making sure that we give wildlife space whenever we encounter them out in the wild.